Miles Franklin was born Stella Maria Sarah Miles Franklin on the 14th of October 1879 at Talbingo, her grandmother's property, not far from her parents' station, Brindabella, near Tumut in New South Wales. When she was ten, her family was forced by financial circumstances to leave the beloved Brindabella and move to a small farm called Stillwater near Goulburn. Miles, as she became known in the literary world, had great artistic ambitions beyond the subsistence rural life in which she found herself. Her first love was music, but she soon settled on a literary career and scribbled out her first novel, My Brilliant Career, while she was still a teenager. Miles spent several years trying to interest Australian publishers in her novel. Eventually, she sent the manuscript to Henry Lawson, one of her literary heroes. Her letter asked him to run through it and state whether he thought it twaddle, interesting or trash. Lawson was intrigued, read the manuscript and took it with him to England in 1900. And in 1901, Blackwoods of Edinburgh published My Brilliant Career. The novel was well received and highly praised for its Australian character at a time of strong nationalistic mood in Australia. While Miles Franklin always claimed that her book was not autobiographical, there is little doubt that Sibylla Melvin's circumstances and character mirror those of Miles herself, particularly the desire to pursue a career and a life independent from marriage and men. By 1900, Miles, now in her early twenties, had left behind rural life and was living in Sydney, working in domestic service and writing articles for the Bulletin. She became involved in the emerging feminist movement, but she was frustrated and disillusioned by the lack of progress in her writing career. In 1905, Miles set sail for the USA, where she worked for the National Women's Trade Union League. During this period, her second novel, Some Everyday Folk and Dawn, was published. Following the war, she spent time in England, travelled on the continent and made a short visit to Australia. In 1928, her novel, Up the Country, was published under the pseudonym Brent of Binbin. This was the first of a series of novels published under this name, all of which were well received. In 1933, aged 54, Miles returned to Sydney for good. She became a prominent figure in the literary scene of the time and took a particular interest in young Australian writers, encouraging them and championing their cause. Several more Brent of Binbin novels were published, as well as the novel My Career Goes Bung, which continued the story of Sibylla Melvin. Miles remained active right up to her death in 1954 at the age of 75. She had never been a wealthy woman, but had lived an exceedingly frugal life. Her will came with a surprise to all who knew her. Somehow, Miles Franklin had managed to leave sufficient funds to provide an annual prize of £500 for the best published work of fiction by an Australian writer about any aspect of Australian life. The Miles Franklin Award has brought attention and accolades to many of Australia's greatest writers. It continues to be one of Australia's most coveted literary awards and has ensured Miles an ongoing place as an Australian literary figure.